Welcome back to my channel. So, Adopt Me just released another update, and this update is called the Shop House Update. And I'm guessing it's like a store or something that you can open up as your house. And I haven't purchased it yet, so I'm gonna get it in this video and I'm gonna show it to you guys. And we're gonna see if there's any new furniture, stuff like that. So, first, let's check the store, make sure that it's not a Roblox item. Okay, it's not, so let's get into the game. So, we are here in my mermaid house. We're gonna have to leave this and go to change house and then we're gonna have to purchase the new one so because it's not for robux it should just be in here and it's gonna be for adopt me cash so let's go to add new and oh here it is okay shop house all right it's 1750 adopt me dollars built that's what it looks like it looks just like one of the stores that you can find inside of town actually it looks a little better because it looks like we have an eating area up there so you can turn it into a restaurant if you want let me use my uh glider to get up there all right so you can't sit on here but it's still a nice terrace and i think it's a nice added feature you can definitely do a role play out here okay so here's how it works you press e and it'll open up your backpack and you can click anything that you have in your backpack and it'll put it on the sign. Wow. Okay, let me try the unicorn plush. All right, so we are inside of our shop house, AKA store, and it's actually a really nice size. Let me go into all the rooms, take a look around. Oh, we have a fully furnished bathroom. Thank you. I do not like designing bathrooms. And we have a kitchen. I really wouldn't have to add a lot of items in here. I'll probably just add like a microwave or something. Wait, do we have microwaves here? I can't remember. It's been so long since I've had to decorate a kitchen or a restroom. Because it doesn't have any actual bedrooms. So it's a shop. So let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Is this the kind of floor that you see inside of a store? I don't know. Hmm. No, that's kind of boring for a store. If we were making a Christmas store, we could use that wallpaper, but we're not. Let's do butterfly walls and then the floor. <laughs> yep, we're just gonna keep the floor like this. Okay, let's fix the ones over here too. Boop, and then the walls. <laughs> there we go. So we don't have to do anything to the restroom or the kitchen. Now let's get this place looking like lo uh, looking like a store. We're gonna have to look for counters because when you walk into a store, you have counters, of course. Okay, we're gonna have to get the cheapest counters, guys. We're balling on a budget. Hmm. Okay, yeah, this is the cheapest one for ten dollars. All right. <gasps> Oh, I just thought of something. We can do checkout lanes. Yeah, okay. That's what we're gonna do. All right, when you go to the grocery store or any kind of store, when it's time for you to check out, you know the lane where there's like a conveyor belt? That is what we are going to make. That is a really good idea. All right, rotate. Okay, now we're gonna need to put a chair behind each of these because when you are working behind the counters at a grocery store or something, you need a place to sit because you're gonna be there all day. All right, so seats, vintage, poof. Yeah, the cheapest one that I'm seeing is actually this one, but oh my goodness, the heart one is so cute. I really wanna get the heart one, but I don't have a lot of Adopt Me cash in order to do this, so. You know what? No, I don't care. I'm going to get the heart one. I'm going to get it. Ooh. Should we do the director's chair? Okay, no. I'm, I'm kind of going a little overboard. Ooh. Should we do the dining chair? Ooh. Okay, fine. Let's just do the heart chair. This is one. This is two. And this 
is three and each of these is actually gonna have to have a cash register so we're gonna make them pink um no we're gonna make them blue to match the counter i usually am so indecisive when it comes to trying to decorate houses and stuff Alrighty, now let's add our cash registers the cutest cash registers that just came out are the ones that are in the tropical update but they're expensive and i can't afford it so let's get the regular one here we go the cheapest one and it has to face our employee i think that's how it looks at the stores cash register number two cash register number three okay there we go now i just had another idea we're going to add some chopping boards why because this is our conveyor belt oh yeah hmm if oh this is this is good i feel like a designer <laughs> looking at design in the store okay mm -hmm, this one's looking good let's add another one just so that it's you know usually conveyor belts in the stores are black but uh we might we 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 might need to make them gray here or pink oh we're gonna make it pink this is our store we do what we want okay okay i'm having a little issue right here where you can tell that that one is a little raised i don't know why it's doing that though the other ones look so perfect whatever we don't have time to over analyze everything okay number two one more at first this is going to be like a pet store but it should probably be a grocery store i know i'll put a flamingo out there but uh i don't think you check out at a pet store with these like grocery shopping aisles so yeah we'll just make like a i guess a grocery store or something Alrighty, let's see let's look for the signs the, actually the more like poles and um it will be under hmm okay oh wait we can search furniture now what Ooh. okay pole let's try a stick we have a large candlestick does that work mm -mm. okay guys i actually ended up uh choosing this right here it is actually a candle pole Hmm, which one looks better? Okay, you know what guys? All that searching was for nothing because we're just gonna go ahead and use the flag. Mm, it, it helps divide the space. So, yeah, let's go with that. Go back to castle and click on banner. That's what it's called. It's not called a flag, it's called a banner. There we go. That's the closest thing I could find to a sign. Alrighty, now it is time for us to put shelves. Ooh. Shelves are here. Mm. All right, let's see if we can find some shelves. Oh my goodness, no. I just had a better idea. Watch this. Watch this what I'm about to do. I'm gonna put the groceries and stuff on there. And then I'm gonna put these bookshelves here. And I'm gonna put them in the middles like aisles. Unless there's something better. Yeah, so pretend like these are grocery shelves that you see at the stores. I wish I could change the color of them though. I'll make them pink to go with the theme. Alright, just what we have so far. You know what? This this actually works. I'm actually, I'm going to leave it. And then we're going to put some stuff against the walls. Probably some kind of refrigerator or like a glass container. Okay guys, I just I think this is what we're gonna do. We are going to put the mermaid refrigerators along the back side of the wall over here in order to give it that frozen section look that all the grocery stores have so one right here um they're 45 dollars each so i think i can afford to get a few not too many but a few that looks good too let's put another one i'm probably gonna run out of money soon oh wait no so i have 600 dollars i think i'm doing a really good job on this one i usually spend way too much okay now we can move this one that was over here we, and then we're going to delete the one that is still on the side wall yeah there we go sell 
And now the last thing that we're gonna do is add some more shelves so that we can put some real groceries up for sale. Alrighty, now let's go get our food. Oh wait, the food can stay up there on the shelves. It actually goes with our theme of a grocery store, but I need to make it so that it's not as crooked. Here we go. Oh, I wonder if we can place. What just happened? Oh, I'm sorry, I can't join your family right now. All right, let me move this over to the shelf right here. Another one and get the bread off the floor. You see these wooden crates? We can put them right here. There can be like shopping baskets or shopping carts. Let me do it like this. See, like in the grocery stores. This closest thing I can think of to a cart other than, you know, like a stroller, but you can't really set the strollers out for customers. All right. Our grocery store is officially finished. Not sure what it was supposed to be in the beginning, but now this is what it is. We, if you just skip to the end of the video, this is a grocery store. We have our checkout lanes. We have our conveyor belt. We have our basket slash, um, what do you call it? Oh, thank you. We have our basket slash, um, carts, I guess you call them. Then we have our shopping shelves temporarily bookcases for now bookshelves then we have the shelves on the side with the food then we have our refrigerator slash frozen section in the back and there's nothing upstairs because i don't have enough money to decorate that bye guys i will see you next time thank you for watching my channel pretzel at so pretzel at so pretzel at so